Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Thursday morning, it is the 15th day of April. My name is Rich, and we have a cooler forecast, and we have a wetter forecast. Well, it depends on where you live. The wetter forecast will mainly be over the southern counties over the next few days. However, all of us will see at least a risk of showers in the forecast for the next few days, and temperatures are going to be way down below where they were earlier in the week when we were in the 80s. We're only going to be in the low 70s today and probably 60s tomorrow. I have updated the weekend forecast. It's not going to rain all weekend. Uh, I think you'll like the Sunday forecast as well. Plus, we'll talk about the beach forecast too. So today, the cool front that went through is parked uh, you know, near the Gulf Coast with waves of low pressure moving along it. That's going to be the main weather maker for Alabama today with the best chance of rain in the southern counties and another big surge of moisture coming in. Uh, this is Friday night into Saturday, so wet at times over the next few days. This is future radar through the day today and through 6 p.m. tonight showing uh, bands of rain moving through, especially the southern half of the state today. Here's a snapshot at 10 a.m., so mainly from, uh, let's say, you know, I, US 80, I-85 southward, the better rain chances, and the severe weather risk hugging the Gulf Coast, a marginal severe weather risk covering much of coastal Alabama and coastal Florida today with damaging wind gusts the main threat. So a risk of showers today, sure. Much cooler, yes. 72 is the high today, with north winds at 10 to 15, making it seem a little brisk. Uh, 49 is your low tonight, and tomorrow's high temperature only in the 60s, with again, a risk of a few showers during the daytime hours on Friday, but I think the better risk of rain will continue on Friday night and in through the overnight hours Friday night and probably continue at least through the first half of the day on Saturday. There's the Saturday map there. So that'll be the wettest time Friday night into Saturday. And I think though later in the weekend things get a little bit better. I think Sunday's a better day. Uh, temperatures will be a little bit warmer on Sunday. I've got us around, uh, you know, the lower 70s uh, and then lows at night around, around 50. Monday's a nice day. We're into the low to mid 70s, I think, on Monday and a little warmer on Tuesday. Rainfall for the next few days. Quarter inch to half inch is all they're going to get in North Alabama. So yeah, it's tapered uh, a little heavier down to the south. One to two inches central Alabama, two to three inches down on the coast. Your better rain chances are Friday night into Saturday at 70%. Only in the 60s for a high Saturday, uh, Friday, I should say, after a morning low of 49. Then we're in the low 70s through Sunday and Monday. We're in the low to mid 70s, then mid 70s on Tuesday. Tuesday looks like a great day. Once again, uh, not a good weekend down on the coast. I'm sorry to say 50% chance showers and thunderstorms at least on Friday. A better chance Friday night into Saturday. A uh, wet, wet times on the Gulf Coast this weekend and the Gulf water temperature now at 69. So two weekends in a row, not a good beach forecast. The pollen count from the folks at pollen.com got us in the moderate range today a little higher uh, tomorrow and then uh, medium to high on saturday and uh, so you know pollen's still going to be a problem on this date 10 years ago today one of the biggest outbreaks of uh, tornadoes in Alabama history with uh, 45 tornadoes here, 146 across several state area. At the, at the time, it was the biggest tornado outbreak in Alabama history. Later, little did we know that 12 days later, there would be even a bigger outbreak. The 62 tornadoes on April 27, 2011 that killed 252 people, uh, the biggest outbreak of tornadoes in U.S. history. A little bit of history lesson this morning. On that night 10 years ago, um, I remember signing off in the wee hours in the morning saying, fortunately, a tornado outbreak of this magnitude only happens, is very rare, only happens every several years. Little did we know that 12 days later was going to be the Mac Daddy of all tornado outbreaks. So really tough times in April 10 years ago. All right, you know this part. You could probably recite it yourself. We're live on the radio this morning on Newstalk 93.1. We're live on TV on Channel 8 and Channel 32. There'll be another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. And your forecast whenever you want it across the dial on the Blue Water family of stations. Have a good day today. I'll see you in the morning.